Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Cauchy Experimental Research Design. Already I have posted videos on Experimental Research Design and Non-Experimental Research Design. If you have not watched those videos, I have given the link in description box, suggested end card and i card. Or you can watch our channel playlist Nursing Research and Statistics for more Nursing Research related videos. So this was taken from unit 5 in the subject nursing research and statistics. This video will be useful for BSc nursing students, post basic BSc nursing students and students who are studying MSc nursing. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to science, easy tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the content what we are going to discuss in this video. Cauchy Experimental Research Design. So what is Cauchy Experimental Research Design? So if you want to tell it as an experimental research design, three criteria should be satisfied. One is manipulation or intervention. Next is randomization and another one is control group. So in Cauchy Experimental Research Design, out of these three criteria, any one will be missing. Either randomization will be missing or either a control group will be missing like that. So it involves the manipulation of independent variable to observe the effect on dependent variable. So compulsorily intervention or manipulation is there. So when you are doing any manipulation in the independent variable, the result you will be learning in the dependent variable. But what it lacks? It lacks either control group or randomization. So randomize, randomized selection of subjects will be absent or there will be only one group and no control group. But intervention is compulsorily it is there. Okay. So characteristics, manipulation of the independent variables to observe the effect on the dependent variables. Already I told intervention or manipulation on the independent variable will be there so that you can assess the effect on the dependent variable. Lack of at least one other two criteria. What are the other two criteria for an experiment? Manipulation, already I told it is compulsory. It is there. What are the other two criteria? Control group. And uh, you will have randomization. So out of these two, any one will be absent. So cause the independent variable are used instead of through independent variable. Next, moving on to types of quasi experimental research design. Under this, you have two types. One is non-randomized control group design. Another one is time series design. Non-randomized control group design. And another one is time series design. What is this non-randomized control group design? So here in the name itself, uh, it is well understood that randomization is absent. Here you will have a experimental group, control group and intervention will be given for experimental group. There will not be any intervention for a control group but randomized selection of subjects will be absent. So in this design, experimental and control group are selected without randomization and dependent variables are observed in both groups for before intervention. So pretest will be there before... Uh, intervention in experimental group and control group but ran, you have not selected randomly the subjects randomization is absent so pretest you will be doing intervention is given only for control group and it will not so only sorry ma intervention is given only for experimental group and not for control group and post test is assessed in both the experimental group and control group group so later the experimental group alone receives the treatment and after that post test observation of dependent variable is carried out in both experimental group and control group so here it is better represented by means of diagrammatic representation so here experimental group here control group what is absent no randomization so randomization is not there so no randomization and experimental group control group so in experimental group what you are doing for both experimental group and for control group you are doing pretest but only for experimental group what you are giving you are giving treatment so only for experimental group treatment is given that is intervention is done and post test is also assessed in both experimental group and control group so now you can tell what is the effect the treatment has produced on the um, 
experimental group so next is time series design in time series design the design here only one group will be there only experimental group will be there and there is no control group so for a longer period of time you will be doing this thing so this design is useful when the experimenter wants to measure the effects of a treatment over a long period of time so here only one experimental group is there what is absent here control group is absent so here the um, for example, um, a researcher wants to test the efficacy of a drug in improving the hemoglobin status of the individual. So, anemic patient, what he is taking? He is taking a, 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 a three months. Okay. So, uh, at the, for three months, he is taking monthly, he is taking the hemoglobin value. Okay. So, first month hemoglobin value, second month hemoglobin value, third month hemoglobin value. Then, here in the fourth month he is giving one treatment okay in the fourth month he is giving one treatment then in the fifth month he is taking again hemoglobin value sixth month again hemoglobin value seventh month again hemoglobin value so he is comparing what is the effect of his treatment on after post treatment whether the levels have been increased and whether the hemoglobin levels are maintained or again it is decreasing so everything he can study over a long period of time so here observations can be taken priorly to the treatment the observations can be one observation or two or three or four or five and similarly after the treatment also the same number of observations have been repeated so that you will know the effectiveness of the intervention and how long it is persisting also so this is time series design so in the first design randomization is absent here in time series design control group is absent so what is the advantages and disadvantages of quasi experimental research design so they are more frequently used because all the time you cannot uh, conduct experimental research design. So for many experimental uh, research design, many times uh, it is easy to conduct a quasi-experimental research design because uh, all the time we cannot go on stick on to the three criteria manipulation, randomization, con control group. So it is very easy and it also established the cause and effect relationship. So partially you can answer the cause and effect relationship. Okay. Come, compared to pre-experimental pre-experimental which i will be explaining in the next thing so this is somewhat effective but it is not as much effective as through experimental design but compared to pre-experimental research design this is somewhat effective next moving on to the disadvantages there is no control over extraneous variables which may influence the dependent variables so, so randomization is absent control some in some studies control group is absent so that you cannot control over the extraneous variables the absence of control group makes uh, it very less reliable and the design also becomes very weak because you cannot compare that only because of your intervention the results have been improved suppose if you have a control group you can easily compare it see control group they, their uh, knowledge is poor but here because I have given a structure teaching program module in the experimental group the uh, results are far better they have improved their knowledge level is good like that so this design becomes weak because of lack of randomization or lack of control group hope this video has given a detailed explanation about uh, Aussie experimental research design in my next video I will be discussing on pre-experimental research design hope this video is clear if you still have any doubts you can feel free to post your doubts in comment section thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel as I have told earlier my previous videos link I have given in description box suggested end card and I card or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing research and statistic related videos thank you friends